merciless mercy. You are a thief and a robber. Yes, this is coming from Kazim Adioti, first wife. This is because Messiahide and Kazim decided to do something on this vow. In fact, they said that Messiahide is the one that decided to do this because she heard that Kazim's first wife has landed. You know, at times you might think you have the key or the button to your husband. You might think you know how to press him to do what you want, but it seems Funsho Adioti, that is the first wife of Kazim, has lost that key. Right now, it is Messiah Igbe that has the key. Did she lose that key somehow? Or is there Najuju Bidis? I don't know. Welcome once again to this channel. If you're just coming across it, smash on the subscription button. The red notification icon bell, please select all. If you're a returning subscriber or you've been here with us, I say thank you for returning. Thank you for being here. Do something for this channel. Please like and share. What type of Valentine is this? What kind of Valentine is this? Is this a real Valentine for two people, two lovers to have time for themselves? Or is this Pepe Dem Valentine? What is this? This is serious. I mean, right now, Kazim's wife, the first wife, Funsho, she has gone on her Instagram page upon realizing that her coming back to Nigeria is for nothing. Immediately, according to the report we have on our table, immediately, Messi Aigbe got wind that Funsho Adioti has landed Nigeria. Ah, immediately, she booked a quick flight for herself and Kazim Adioti to fly out of Nigeria to a secret location where they can do their pepper them. And the talk is that she's the one even paying for all of these things to make sure that Kazim feels that thing, you know, maybe, we don't know, maybe Funsha D.O.T. has not been doing this, you know, it depends on the kind of relationship they had, and um, at times when people are together for a very long time, particularly if you get to know that man when he didn't have much, uh, you might just get used to yourselves, but when the man has acquired a little bit of money and has um, experienced you as a human being, know your good and bad, upon sighting another woman that he has not gone through that process with, he might feel that life looks so shiny and polished like this. And that is it. He might just feel that the other woman, not knowing who has passed through that woman that has made her become who she is, you might just, you know, he might just begin to feel like, okay, you know what? I think that my other wife is just useless. She's not good at all. She doesn't even know how to do this thing. It happens like that. Yes. Well, according to Kazim, when this story broke out, he came out to defend his action and also Messiah Yigbe. He said, first of all, I am a Muslim and I have the right to acquire as much as I want, at least up to four. But the question that is being asked is this. The Quran stated that if you are to acquire more women, make sure you treat them equally. It means if today, as it is Valentine's Day, what you are supposed to do is to take all of your wives and concubine, all your concubines, side chicks, all of them together, you lodge in a place. Since you want to have a lot of women, you take care of them the same way, make them feel good the same way. If you give this one one, you have to give the other one two one. If you buy this gift for this person, you have to buy the same gift. That is what the Quran stated, that you must love them equally. Although the truth is this, I don't know what the Quran is trying to say, but in reality, you cannot love several women equally. I cannot ever, ever, I cannot find it anywhere unless you know how it is possible for you as a man to love six women equally. How? How can you love them equally? It is just not possible. Well, that is just what it is. I'm not saying that people cannot acquire a lot of women. You can if your religion permits this. But the thing is that you must do the needful at all times. And that is a tax. 
That is the headache because it is difficult unless you just see those women as properties that you give this one to, give that one to, and that's it. If you really want to have that connection, it is just impossible for you to have several women and do the right thing, particularly under one roof. It's just very difficult. Well, you know, finally, Funsho Adeoti, that's her name, the first wife, since she doesn't have access to her husband, and uh, maybe she's not that type of woman that will want to go with someone else. At particularly, you know, if age is not on your side, what kind of man do you want to hang out with? Particularly if your husband is the only person you've been around with, you've bullshit some other men that were trying to get into your marriage, you've told them that you are this, you are that, you know, it's kind of, um, it, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough, you know? Well, she's still pretty, pretty, but... You know, she's not as young as Messia Igbe. And apart from that, Messia Igbe, you know, being that she's an actress, she still knows how to totori and do some kind of things like that. So what I'm trying to say is that it's so difficult for women when they get to a certain age and their marriage or relationship breaks apart. It's kind of um, difficult for them to easily get another man that will pamper them. I'm not saying it is not possible. I don't say, I'm not saying it's not there, but it's always difficult because men target younger ladies mid-range women have problems with younger men that's the truth if they want to go down to like okay you know what I, I can do what i want to do too i can also get someone younger i can do this they always have problems with these men because men have a character that is kind of a uh, different you know what i mean so as it is right now well 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 she decided to console herself by going on her Instagram, on her social media handle, and she posted pictures of her children, and she said, you know what? This are my Valentine. And she started talking about how many years ago she had gone through a lot of hardship, she had struggled as a person, she had done this, she had done that, you know, to put things together, she had created a home, thinking it was a home, and how things have become what it is, but she's grateful that she has these children to look to, to look onto as a valentine and you know a lot of people went to our uh, comment section to kind of um pray for her encourage her and tell her you are the champion you are the owner you see that one she's a thief she's an arm robber and she'll be dealt with she's going around you know turning her bomb bomb right left and center doing like this acting this way behaving as if she's the owner not minding that there is someone else there before not feeling what the person is feeling. She's like, I'm the one on point right now. Let me enjoy what I need to enjoy. Maybe she doesn't even care. She will tell herself, if it breaks, let it break. Life goes on. At least for now, let me just keep myself steady with this man. That is if Mr. Kazim Adioti is the only person. Or, you know, most of the times it seems a celebrity, when they break up from one relationship, there's always one man on the queue who is ready to fill the gap. And that is what they get being that they are celebrities. They are always high and they are always on the faces of people, that kind of thing. So, well, she consoled herself and, you know, people are saying that this IDOT, you are not a good Muslim. If you are a good Muslim, you should have been in this vacation with both of them since these are the two women that we know with you. But the man has his own story to say. He said, when I met Messi Aigbe, you know, I'm not going to say what he's saying is the truth and neither do I know if it is a lie. He said, Messi Aigbe, we met on a business level. Business, the way she acted and did with me, promoted the work that she sold to me, I felt like there is something about this lady. Ah, well, me, I don't know if that is enough. I don't know if that is what is lacking in Funsho Adeoti. Maybe she's the kind of woman who is not, who does not appreciate. She feels that this is a you know, right, this is this, always argumentative, always want to challenge the man, always want to create this kind of um, situation around the home. Uh, no, I don't know. I can't say. But people are saying this woman must be dealt with very soon, that she's a thief. No one is liking Messi Aigbe. They say this legal wife made a costly mistake, that she should have relocated to Nigeria when her husband relocated. Cook is food. Because now people are saying maybe they have put some income in inside of the Gusi that uh, Mr. Kazim ate, that Kazim is not behaving normal. 
They say even if you have another woman that you are with and you are enjoying that vacation, doing all of these things, or is it that Mr. Kazim wanted this type of life long time and Funshaw wasn't giving this? They say you should have relocated. Well, I don't think relocating is enough. You see, when a man wants to travel, there is nothing you can do about it. That's just the truth. You might hinder him a little bit, give him a little bit of pressure here and there, which if he doesn't care, he's ready to fight it. You see? So it's just that he's ready to change face. Or is it true, as you are saying, that Messi Aigbe's mother is a winchy winchy and that, uh, you know, that is what Messi Aigbe's sister said, though, not me, that they took the glory of all the other sisters. They checked and they said, you know what? We have to take this one's glory it's like they have little, little glory. This one, she has glory, but we need to boost it up. And if you look at all of them, Mesha Igbe is the one that people know inside of that family. You know, it's so funny. Anyway, that is what they said. They said they now use it to boost her glory. And the mother decided to give her more tools, such as, you know, grabbing someone else's uh, husband. That is what they said. That is what they said. But it's a pity anyway. People are saying they pity Mesha Igbe that soon she will be giving the hot knock on her head. And once she's giving that knock, she will come out again and begin to cry and scream and shout. Well, this is the story that landed on our table. I decided to bring this to you. What are your thoughts as regards this one? Let us know in the comment section. Do not forget, very important, to like and share this video. Thanks for stopping by.